Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. To give you guys an example as to why the upper body rotation is so important in creating a lot of power in your shots and hit harder uh, ultimately, let's take a look at disc throwing. You've probably all seen that on TV in the Olympics, for example. If you can just imagine it, they have a little circle that they're staying in, they have their little disc like a frisbee and they're trying to throw it as far as they possibly can. However, there's a bit of a restriction, they have to stay within a certain perimeter because there's a net around them and they can't go out of bounds. The big difference is though that in this sport, because they're just trying to go as far as they can, they have multiple attempts to do so because they're losing their precision, they're going to the right or to the left sometimes because by turning their whole body very quickly it is very difficult to exactly know when to let go of that disc and to make sure that it goes straight forward into the direction that you're aiming for. Now in tennis, if you want to hit as hard as possible, you should use very similar elements. That's mainly your upper body rotation, you've probably seen them when they disc throw they go this way. The main difference for tennis is you're not trying to go up and you're trying to control your shot. You're not trying to lose control over the direction because you do not have multiple attempts to hit one winner. Every attempt you fail, you lose a point. Now, if you're trying to use your upper body rotation the same way as a disc thrower would, you would realize that by taking your racket back here, you would have to start by turning your upper body and your arm would follow because there's a lot of force pulling your arm because eventually it locks in and it just follows through. Now you could say, okay, uh, but shouldn't I then rotate my lower body as well, just like a disc thrower would? And that's where the precision and the directional control comes into play. If you are doing that, it is very difficult to be accurate with the angle that you're trying to hit at. So you'll probably end up missing a lot of shots. You might be able to even hit a little bit harder, but you won't, you won't have any control over your shot. So you're trying to keep your hips stable and in position where you are balanced, so you can use your full upper body rotation without losing control over the power that you are creating. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.